Welcome, parents. Good evening. Thank you for coming to Back to School Night. Please allow me to introduce our PE staff. Teaching our lovely eighth graders and getting them ready for high school next year, we have Lacey Breger and Mark LaPlante. Teaching our lovely seventh graders and helping them make the transition into junior high, we have Mandy Hatfield and myself, Nicholas Hagen. Again, thank you for coming tonight. For tonight's purpose, we would like to use this time to show you how to navigate our PE website, which is located here on our main Sierra Vista Junior High School website. Address is right above here, sierravistajuniorhigh.org. Through this website, you're going to be able to find a lot of information regarding our PE program, such as printing missing work, completing makeup assignments when absent, and also contacting your teachers whenever necessary. So we're going to begin by going to our school's main website. Here it is at top, SierraVistaJuniorHigh.org. We, when we first get to the homepage, we want to direct our attention to the top menu tabs. We want to go to academics and then we will click on academic departments. This will pull up all the departments. So you may have teachers in another subject area that you want to contact. You would use these tabs to, to navigate. So for this purpose, we're going to click on physical education. That's going to bring you to our PE web page. This is our PE website. You want to use the menu to the right to navigate throughout the entire page. We want to start by our staff page. This is where you're going to be able to email our each teacher directly by just simply clicking on send email. This is going to be the best way to contact your PE teacher. We are often not at our desk. So email gives us a chance to see, um, see your concern and hopefully respond to it in a timely manner. So this is the staff. We got Lacey Breger, Nicholas Hagen, Mandy Hatfield, and Mark LaPlante. From this point, we're gonna move on. All right, moving on from the staff tab, we're gonna look at the right menu again. Just below it, you'll see the link for our PE handbook. Let's click on that. It's gonna bring you to our PDF files for both our handbook and our handbook quiz. Clicking on the PE handbook, you'll notice it has a lot of information regarding our PE program. You'll be able to find your teacher's emails here as well along with our curriculum, our locker room procedures, uniform policy, excuses from participation, whether they are short-term or long-term, and our grading policy, how your student, how your child is being graded throughout the school year. All right, please use this handbook for reference throughout the school year or you may always contact the teacher for any concerns. Your child should have completed a PE handbook quiz. Please make sure you check Infinite Campus. Your child may manage their grades and, and make sure that all the points are being assigned. All right, moving down our menu, next we'll, you'll see we have seventh grade homework and eighth grade homework. All right, clicking on this, you're gonna notice we have fitness logs. The fitness log will be the same for seventh and eighth grade, so we may be combining these two links to just a fitness log link. So look for that in the future. All teachers will be reviewing the fitness log with their classes this week. Your child will be required to complete a fitness log every two weeks to show that they are continuing to stay active and fit outside of class. This fitness log is to be filled out and signed by a parent or guardian. This first fitness log is going to be assigned this Friday, September 1st, and due two weeks later 
on September 15th. Again, teachers will go over the fitness log requirements with their classes and the first fitness log will be assigned at the end of this week, Friday, September 1st. Looking at our right menu, we're gonna move down to the next tab, which is our makeup absent form. Let's click on that link. It's gonna again, bring up a PDF file for our makeup absent form. This is for any student who is absent. They'll need to complete this form. You can print it or you can ask your teacher for this form. One form needs to be completed for each day absent. For example, if your child is absent three days, then they will need to complete three separate forms. It requires a parent signature to verify completion. These makeup sheets need to be completed and returned before the end of the grading period. All right, so this gives your teachers time to make sure that all those points are, are back on your grade. So looking at the links, you'll see we have two more left. We have our PE standards and fitness standards. Uh, you can use those to, actually us teachers use those to guide our instruction throughout the school year. And then below is our, is just a general links tab. Right now we have our video to open combination locks and we spent time with our seventh and eighth grade classes reviewing and learning how to open the combination locks. And I do have to say that first day address went very smooth. Students really got the hang of the locker rooms and we are looking forward to a very smooth school year. We hope this information can be useful as we make our way through this school year. Before you leave tonight, check out our cinch bags and water bottles. The cinch bags are very useful for students to help them bring PE clothes to and from school. Lastly, if you would like to talk to your, parent, to your child's teacher, they will be available around the fitness center. Thank you and have a good night.